Just a few years ago, I was working at a global headquarters, and I just had my first baby and finished my maternity leave. I was making a lot of plans of my career growth and as well as growing my family and raise my family as a full-time working mom. During the first few weeks of my returning to work, we were announcing the headquarters was going to move to another country. At the time, moving and relocating to another country was not really an option for me. And as well, teleworking was not so common and popular as it is now. So for once, I was feeling hopeless and feeling it was unfair. In this video, I'm going to share with you four ways how I hold myself accountable and help me through these difficult times. And not only that, it really helped me accelerated my growth. So my first tip for you is stop being a victim. That means when you are looking for external excuses and blaming them for why you are where you are today or why you are not achieving certain goal, you are not going to wait until the diversity and inclusion problem solved to be promoted to the top, right? You are not going to wait until you have a perfect boss and very nice and positive colleagues around you to thrive in your company. So these are the external excuses. What you should be focusing on is the factors that you can control and move towards them. So my second tip for you is do not complain. When you start to complain, you really believe things are unfair, events are unfair, life is unfair, and you feeling really depressed, and you will start to see lot of things and people against you. And this is what we often see on LinkedIn. Someone was unfairly treated and they post that story on LinkedIn and you will see hundreds of people join the discussion and sharing even more tragic stories of themselves. What you really end up is really feeling more depressed. It's not really helping you or helping anyone. So do not complain. My third tip for you is to change your behavior. You cannot really expect a different result, a dramatically better result if you keep doing the same thing as you were doing yesterday, last month or last year. If you want a different life, you have to lead a different life and be willing to change your habits and behaviors so you can make the right choice that will lead to a new, different and much better result. I can share two behaviors that I have changed since the headquarter moved. I choose to wake up at five o'clock every morning since then and use the first hour of the day to read or learn new things. So yes, that has been six years. I've been doing that and I never missed a day. The second behavior I have changed is how I manage my time and how I tackle my to-do list. I would not let myself go to the low value task first until I've finished the most important and most significant tasks. And if you're interested to know how to do that, I have a video link here in the top or down below in the comment area so you can have a look. And my last tip for you is to surround yourself with accountable people. The people surround you influence you more than you think. If you constantly interact with negative colleagues who blame the world and everyone else for their problems, their attitude will impact you. So please find people who own their destinies and model that ownership they demonstrate. To help you take these tips into actions, I made an 80-20 rule worksheet that will help you to manage time, manage your to-do list, and help you to achieve a long-term goal and long-term success. You can download in the link below, it's for free. I'll see you in the next video.